Now I will be teaching you how to make the magic circle. This is a stitch that is required in many amigurumi projects. Down here I use the magic ring or adjustable ring. Here another one. So when you make an adjustable ring or a magic ring, you crochet around and around and around it. Okay? So I'll grab my yarn. And instead of holding the end, I'll leave a big tail and I will hold it like this here. So I'll leave a big tail hanging and I will stand my two fingers here. So this is my dominant hand. With the dominant hand, I hold the yarn. With my other hand, I hold the two fingers here and I'll wrap around my fingers twice, crossing here. So I'll Hold it here with my thumb and I have two loops and I will hold the yarn, the long yarn that is connected to my yarn ball here with my pinky. So the pinky is busy here holding the yarn. Okay, this tail, the end tail, I leave it hanging here and my thumb is busy holding the X. So I'll grab my yarn hook and I'll insert my hook here underneath the first one, grab the second one, pull it, turn it, yarn over the second one, and pull through. Okay, now I can let go. I have here my magic ring or adjustable ring. I'll do it again really close to the camera. Okay, so I'll leave a big long tail here, I'll point my two fingers and wrap around my two fingers, creating an axe, hold the axe with the thumb and hold the end with your pinky. Now insert the hook under the first one, grab the second one, pull it and turn it, grab this one and pull through. You have here your magic ring. So from now on, you start to work in your magic ring according to your project. So some projects will ask for five, for four, for eight, for ten single crochets or double crochets. So as soon as you have your ring here, you follow the pattern. So let's say I'm doing single crochet, so I'll chain one to create the high here. So I can even pretend that this is my first single crochet here. I'll hold my circle so it doesn't turn on me. I use my two fingers here inside the circle to hold it or one finger, the ring finger here. And then I work, uh, hold my, my work with my thumb and middle finger. And I will insert the hook inside the circle. Grab my yarn here, pull it. Hold my whole work again, yarn over, pull through. I made a single crochet here. So I'll make another one. I'll insert my hook inside the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through too. Always holding the circle so the circle is not twisting. Okay? Go inside the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through too. Okay, so you have your stitches here. Let me make a few more. have eight here. So I'll hold all my stitches flat. This is very important. So they, they're not twisting while you're closing your ring. And then I'll hold my tail here. Make sure I have my tail going through the ring and out, but not completely twisted. So I can really close my ring. You see that? And I'll pull it. When I pull it, my ring reduces the size. Make sure everything is aligned here. I hold the last one. So I'm really closing my magic ring. That's why 
it is called magic ring so magic i made all my stitches inside the circle that's why you can make many 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 here and they are very tight to one another and then you can keep going right if the pattern asks you to slip knot on the first one you can do it otherwise you can just insert and create your second row here so now you're not you're not inserting inside the magic circle but on top of each stitch usually the second row will have like two stitches on each one so you can do that or one stitch and then two depending on the pattern that's the magic circle